Uh, whoa! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Hello, everybody. Grace still plays, and we're back with more of the Finnish pub crawling simulator. No time for BS. And the reason that it is the public, the I, I was mixing two words together. I was mixing pub and finish to create pubish. The the Finnish pub crawling simulator is because we do want to go to the pub today for a couple reasons. One, I would like to grab a drink there, but also because we're probably going to steal some gas from our buddy uh, Temco or whatever the hell his name is. And while we're stealing gas, I think I'm going to try and complete this mission without receiving the call. Someone had said that you can do it without getting the call. We need a little bit more crap in our tank, but that's not going to be a problem because over by that town over there, there should be plenty of potential crap sucking areas to suck crap from. Got all of our sausage, two cases of beer. I think that two cases of beer is probably appropriate for the things that we're going to need. Let's go ahead and swig one down right now. People are saying there's no collision on the the window, but what's weird is like when I throw beer bottles at it, they bounce off. I don't know, man. The collision in this place is kind of weird. They also said that they could slip right through the window, and you're absolutely right. You sure can. So, I don't know. I blame a lot of stuff on the Unity engine, but I know there's people that say it has nothing to do with the Unity engine. It just has to do with the way the game was programmed. That's probably correct. I don't know that much about programming. Let's get the hell out of here and head on over to Parayarvi. While we're driving over to town, I think I'd ask... Would you guys feel ill of me if I cheated in some money? The reason why isn't because I want to, like, buy a million sausages or anything, which I guess is every Finnish man's dream. But what I want to do was there's quite a few people now who are making me custom skins, or, I don't know, custom graphics for the... Hold on. Ah, damn it. Custom uh, paint jobs, that's what it is, for our, for our Satsuma. The only issue is it costs, I think, 21,000 marks in order to get those custom paint jobs and I'd really like to show off some of the creativity that you guys have but the issue is, is that the game only allows me to make so much damn money in one time so what I what ends up happening is I do all of the sit the shit sucking jobs I do the wood uh, delivering job and then I'm totally out of ways to make freaking money especially now that we delivered the final car we can't even use that anymore and from what I understand once we get the vandalism job done, we don't get paid for it, air quotes, so to speak. We do get compensated for it, but not in a way that would be... Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, thump, thump, man. You know what time it is. Whoop, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care if it takes me time to deal with this. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off, though, so we don't lose our... Uh, so we don't lose our um, our gas. Anytime I see that bastard, I have to do this. I imagine some sausage and beer probably went flying out. Let me go ahead and push this thing back over. They call me Papa Gray, the Lord of freaking tanker flipping. Because I think I have had at this point more tanker flipping practice than, oh my God, did I make the, did I make the tanker do a full flip? Son of a bitch! I made it flip from one side to the other side. I don't want it to do that. I wanted to flip over. Uh, whoa! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> okay, guys, let me tell you something. Who was it? Was it the uh, was it the Scottish that have the thing where they? Whoa, Jesus! That they have the thing where they flip the um, the logs. Well, in Finland. We have tanker flipping. Oh, no, not again. Oh, I have created an instance where all hell is breaking loose. This was not what I had intended, folks. I, I'm going to get other stuff done. I swear to God. I just, I need to figure out how I'm going to fix this. Oh, 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 God. Oh, I'm, I'm flying through the air. Oh, no. But yes, the finish are the most manly of men. While everyone else is flipping telephone poles, the Finnish are flipping giant diesel tankers. Way to go, guys. Way to go. I gotta tell you, I can carry this thing like it's not even there at this point. Our, our character is so 
freakishly strong. This isn't even an issue. Oh, no. Come on, Tay. It's getting away from me. I can't flip it because it keeps flying across the entire board. Let me tell you something, boys. Back on the road again. Where there's a will, there's a way. I went ahead and took the uh, the rear lift axle off, though, because we have almost no gas. At Jesus. We have no, almost no gas after that debacle. And as you can see, the, chan the chances that I go flying to my death are quite high. Although, inside of, inside of this vehicle, I feel almost invincible. Oh, Jesus, please don't let me hit this. Uh, okay, good. That was about as close as we could possibly come to hitting that giant ass vehicle. Here we go, boys, next stop, Harry Army. Made it in one piece and with just enough gas. And holy crap, we are almost on empty. I really need to stop doing this to myself. My hope is, is that we can steal this gas in the first place because it still looks like it's pretty nice outside. It doesn't look like it's dark enough yet. But again, one of the reasons that I'm doing this right now is because, let me go ahead and stop this here. We can, if we had to, we can make it, we can make time pass if we need to by like saving and unsaving over and over again. Let's take a look here. Okay, so we can take this off right now. We don't want to do that right yet. Let's go inside and see if this bastard is still somewhat angry. Oh, there's our other two beer cases. Remember those. See if this guy's angry about all the fuel that we've stolen. Hey, buddy. Yes. Okay, so he still wants us to pay for the original gas price. But he's not going to tell us about it. He's just gonna sit there and be like, hey, FYI, 633 marks, Gray, you douchebag. Well, guess what? You're not getting it. Now, once you open the pub, I might buy a beer from you, but I'm not paying for the gas, damn it. Real quick, let's go ahead and let some time pass so that we can steal more gas and then try and get a little bit more sewage into our sewage tanker and dump it all in front of the inspection area and I think that will complete the mission? I got, I hope so. We're gonna give it a shot. And as the music plays, the time of finish glory is upon us. Welcome to the pub. Yay. Oh, that reminds me. Our guys here have names now. Say hello to let me try and see if I can pronounce this right. Pekka? I believe it's Pekka. They're saying, I was reading, okay, so I've been reading Finnish pronunciation, right? Remember, I'm an American guy from Jersey reading Finnish pronunciation, so take that into consideration here. And it was saying that the consonants, like when you have a double consonant, it is pronounced individually. So like if it's P-E-K-K-A, -K -K it's Pek, and then Ka, as in A, as in up, as in cup, the American cup, I think it is. So it would be peck ka and then we have P-E-N-A for this guy over here in the plaid. So that would be penna, penna, peck ka and penna. Am I pronouncing this at all right? I'm trying, man, I tell you, it probably sounds like, like some drunk, retarded American guy trying to pronounce Finnish. Go ahead and throw a beer at me, my man. I tell you. I'm not gonna pay for gas, but I'll sure as hell pay for a beer. Oh yeah. Feel like one of the boys already. You know, it has been a long time since we've been inside of the pub like this. You guys know how it is. We've been been we've been working really hard though. Busy, stealing gas, grabbing junk cars. You know, I sit back and I think about all things we did together so far. Blows my mind. Oh, that reminds me. I want to do a little challenge, little challenge with you guys real quick. I got to start stealing some gas though. Let, let me, let me finish headbutt the gas first. Oh God, our freaking fatigue bar is looking like crap too. So, hold on, let me see if I can, can we do this? Ooh, hold on. How about if we go over here? Oh, finish headbutt. I love you so much. Where is it? Where's the freaking, where are the buttons? There they are. Uh, can I grab it from here? Do I need to stand up higher? Aw, oh, come on, I thought I could finish headbutt it. Ah, well, I could just go past the guy inside of the bar. Anyway, I've noticed 
And this is this is very common recognized, and I have no problem with it. I, I could care less. But it's something I thought that was really interesting. And it doesn't matter who you are as a YouTuber, you always hear this. People have said, you know, why do you how oh, which one is it? I think it's this one. Pe oh, hold on, let me grab this one too. There we go. People have said, why do you yell? Why do you talk so loud? Why do you, um, you know, why do you scream and stuff like that? It doesn't matter. It Realize it doesn't matter who you are as a YouTuber. Every single person gets this, right? Like, I have a couple of buddies that I watch that do YouTube that are uh, very, very placid. And, like, even they get it. So it's not, you know, it's not just me. Like, I, I'm a little bit loud, but I just, I see that this is a very common thing. So what I'm going to do is I am going to do a couple minutes of commentary with absolutely no emotion in my voice at all. Well, I'm gonna try. So that, so that I think that the people that think that we're going crazy <laughs> as YouTubers realize that it doesn't, it's not this, I don't know, it's not the same as in real life. I mean, I have a lot, I don't know, I have emotion when I talk in real life. I know you guys do too, probably. I doubt you're sitting there when you're talking with your wife or your girlfriend or whatever, and you're like, oh man, that was a hard day you had. I'm uh, really, really sorry to hear that. So, uh, when can we have sex? I'm sure that there's a little bit more interest <laughs> and emphasis in the voices. But anyway, like I said, it's not something that, that like, you know, makes me feel bad or anything, because you guys... Oh, someone else mentioned, and they are totally true. This was like the one of the cool, one of the coolest. I get a lot of cool comments from you guys. First off, like the comments are like super supportive, and I love you guys. But someone made a comment, and it said, "Gray, you have a bunch of angels in your comment section." I guess just referring to you guys as being like the coolest part of YouTube. And I, I gotta say, I really think that that's true. You guys have a fantastic sense of humor, but you're not like crazy <laughs> you know what I mean like sometimes people have senses of humor and things get completely out of control like everyone starts telling each other to like drink bleach and kill themselves and I don't find that here and I appreciate that I know right now someone's gonna be like oh it's time to break the cycle every one of you drink some bleach gargle it drink that bleach as if though it was sweet ambrosia and when you're done commit seppuku don't do it I know now you're gonna do it anyway but you guys have been just a pleasure to read the comments for uh the re to re a pleasure for me to read comments i love reading the comments that's what i'm trying to say so sometimes i get a little tongue-tied i get all emotional i get all riled up that's the thing about youtube man i get riled up about this shit i'm also getting riled up at the fact that our fatigue bar just turned red son of a bitch how am i going to be able to drop this shit off in front of well you know what we're right by i think we'll still be able to do this man it just turned red we got half of this tank done. We're gonna get the rest of this tank done in just a second. We're gonna drop the crap off. Oh shit, we've gotta suck up a little bit more crap though. We're not at full capacity yet. Balls! Oh god, I hope we don't die. I'm gonna try, guys. I'm gonna try my best. If we die from a heart attack, well, I don't know. I guess, um, well, you know what? If we die of a heart attack here, it's actually not that bad. Because the vehicle will be right here and the church will be right here. See, everything works. It's all, it's a circle. It's a, it's a circle. It's all infinite, okay? It's all going to be fine. So, what I'm going to do, like I said, in a few minutes here, once we actually get sucking up the poop, I am going to commentate for just a couple of minutes with no emotion. And you tell me which way you guys like better. <laughs> All right, guys, I am really worried about our fatigue right now. I wish I could express to you guys just how worried I am. But uh, unfortunately, I sound like my pet chinchilla just died. And it's very difficult for me to give you the accurate representation of my current level of fear. As normal, a case of beer taking on a mind of its own, just kind of wobbling around. There's another beer just moving dancing almost as if though it was finish ice skating. Let's go ahead and start her up. Get this thing started. Throw the parking brake off. You know what? I'll even put on the rear axle. With the rear axle on, we've got to move over to one of these houses and try and suck up 
a little fecal material. I can't remember which of these houses allows us to do it. It's either this one or the yellow one, I'm pretty sure. Oh, wow, I can't see shit right now. I guess I will try and find my light switch. There it is. How about high beams? Excellent. You can tell that Gray hasn't improved his driving at all. Still crashing into everything around. If there's a tree in the way, I'll crash into it. You know, the other thing that I like to do when I'm not crashing vehicles is full contact badminton. One of my favorite sports. I like to do it with one of my best friends, Ben Stein. We talk about current events and play sports together such as those. Where in the name of Jesus Christ... You know, I never realized how, how difficult it is trying to navigate at night, especially when I have some so, something that I'm trying to genuinely accomplish. Oh, this seems this seems excellent. I appear to have gotten completely stuck, completely fucking stuck. And I'm I'm quite honestly not sure if I can get my way out of this. Perhaps if we throw on the differential lock, usually seems to do something. Nope, totally stuck right now. Totally stuck. Maybe we can press on through here. Oh, that seems to have worked. Differential lock saves the day. Hmm. Who would have thought? Let me just kind of uh, let me just kind of wander around for a moment while I find son of a bitch. While I find one of the septic areas, so that we can guzzle up the sweet poop. There we go. I found one. So this is going to be a drive-by poop sucking, essentially. This guy's still outside drinking his beer, smoking his cigarette. I kind of wonder if he ever sleeps or if he is just like the ring girl. He never sleeps. He just drinks all night long. Something I had not quite considered was how absolutely fucking dark it gets outside. So I had to pull the pull the truck over by the uh, over by the front of the uh, the well over here because I can't see. I can't see worth a damn. There is no way that we are going to survive this. I'm gonna try though. I'm gonna give it my best. You can see I have our hose with us. I don't know if it's long enough to reach where we need to go. Things are looking bad. Things are looking very dire. Sometimes I feel like this game can suck my dick. Suck my dick game. I hate you so much sometimes. All right, enough of the no emotion stuff. So, yeah, another tip from Gray, based upon all the things, there we go, that he does wrong. Always bring a flashlight with you when you're working at night, because, oh my god, it gets dark outside. It's lightening up now, I think because the sun is starting to come up, but it was really, really dark before. Dark to the point where I couldn't see anything. And I had to adjust my monitor <laughs> and the game settings in order to be able to function. I shouldn't really say the game settings. The game settings didn't really do anything. There's like a contrast thing, and that's pretty much it. And there's really no like gamma or anything in this game. So what you, what you get is what you get. Let's go ahead and turn this thing on. Now, I don't know if we succeeded or not i have no idea i'm gonna i'm gonna pray to god we have that's an interior light where's my where's my there we go i'm gonna pray to god that we succeeded i need to try and drive this thing home and get us in bed before we die of fatigue which we're probably very very close to doing right now i also have to navigate in the dark although the sun is coming up and it's gonna be another beautiful morning in finland We've got to get to sleep so damn fast. Someone mentioned you can get to sleep a little bit faster if you finish headbutt your own bed. We may end up having to do that. I can't even imagine how many sausages and beers I have probably lost. Oh yeah, this thing's driving way better now that we're not, that we don't have like, uh, what was that, 10,000 liters of poop in the back of the truck? Oh my God. I don't even know how much that would weigh. It's what? Every gallon of water is, what, eight pounds? I know I'm using the dirty imperial system and not the metric system, but that's what I grew up with. How many liters to a gallon, guys? Someone knows off the top of their head. I sure as hell don't. I hear the thump thump car. Where is it coming? Is it gonna smash me in the back? Oh, it went around us. Oh, maybe it's gonna, yes! 
the greatest crash ever. You son of a bitch. Oh, don't, no, 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 no. Let's recover. Let's recover. Let's recover. Yes. Ha, ha, ha. Nighttime crashing at its finest, boys. What I was going to say was someone had sent me a clip on Twitter. Also, if you haven't yet, feel free to, to follow on Twitter or join or whatever the hell it is. I don't know. I'm not super Twitter savvy. The reason why is because if you ever want to send me a question or message me, feel free, man. I will, uh, I'll try and reply to everything I can. Twitter's been really cool. I'm, I was new to Twitter until I made the channel, so I've never really messed with it that much, but I don't mind it at all. Kind of like Twitter. Big fan now. Anyway, he sent me a clip of a creature running across the road in this game. It looked like a, like a white wolf or something. That'd be really cool if we see that. I, I don't know if that is some sort of legendary beast in the Finnish culture or if it's just someone's dog. If we run across it though, I am going to be hard pressed to not try and hit it with the, with the tanker. Oh yeah, baby, we are reaching max speed epically fast without anything in the back of this. Oh, this is so good. The only issue is, is that we're moving so fast that around these corners, I can start to slide a little bit. And that's with the rear axle down. I can, I can feel the vehicle moving so damn fast that it's trying to get out from under me and kill us. Although I don't know why I keep saying kill us because, oh wow, we've, we've completely topped out. There is no gear higher than what we can do right now and we're hitting the top end of the gear. We've never died inside of this thing. We have been hit, we have done flips, barrel rolls, triple flips, kick flips, axles and, and freaking water polo and Marco polo and figure skating and all kinds of stuff and we've still survived. So this is the most protective. What I can say to a new player is if you're trying to drive somewhere and you are constantly dying, drive this thing, man, because it will get you to where you need to go. Right over here. This is our turn. Go ahead. Oh, mother of God. Okay, we made it. This is the vehicle. You will survive any number of assaults from everyone else on this godforsaken map that wants to kill you and just you'll just brush it off you won't even care you'll be like it's just another day in beautiful Finland the good thing is again if we do end up dying I know where we are so that's good we're on you know we, we're, we're at the point now where all we have to do is make one more right and then drive down a stretch of roadway and we will be home. And one of the things I haven't done yet is you guys left a lot of really good comments about how to gain some additional skill in the rally. And I want to apply some of that. Someone had mentioned some, some things that you can do if you use a keyboard to kind of like make your driving a little bit smoother. I do want to get that set up. I want to make a couple of keyboard adjustments and maybe I'll try that a little bit. Again, I still have that gamepad that I can use. But if I can mess around with the keyboard, I'll do that as well. All right, here we go. A little turn here. Now we're on the road. We are on the road that goes to our house. This is the final road, man. All we have to do is get there, go to sleep, and man, I'm hoping that when we wake up, we get a phone call from uh, Flatari telling us about what great and wondrous bastards we are and how we are a a glory to, to Finland. Oh! Everyone was saying 99, what is this? Uh, the Finnish birthday, 99 years of independence. That's awesome, guys. One more year to 100, man. Triple digits coming up. That's so sweet. Balls to the wall, Finnish tanker driving. Come on, baby, get me there. Oh, we can't, we're not far now, guys. I can taste it. I think it's just around the bend. I'm going as fast as I can. 70, 80 kilometers per hour, which I know isn't very fast. But at nighttime in the tanker with gray, that's a recipe for death. Oh, we're almost there. I know I can finish headbutt, but I don't exactly know where the finish headbutt area is. Parking brake on. Where the hell's the ignition? Oh God, oh God, let me get out of here. Let me get out of here. Oh, we're super hungry and thirsty. <laughs> oh, run, 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 run. Run, you bastard. Come on, baby, get inside, get inside. All you have to do is get to the bed, get to the bed, and bitch, yes. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And a beautiful 
Finish morning to you, gentlemen. Oh. We made it. We are thirsty as hell. And in fact, so thirsty that it's time to crack open a beer. Throw on a little topless gun. And you know what? I think we're going to crack open a couple beers here. Couple of beers for the topless gun watching. That's for damn sure. I think we're going to need like three of them right off the bat. Again, I got comments about why don't you just drink water? You guys know better than that. Your entire house should be filled with the corpses of the beers you drink. There is no excuse. <laughs> There's no excuse to not drink all of those sweet, delicious beers. Now, over here is... Do I have this on or off? Hold on. Okay, I think it's off now. I think that's how we want it. Yeah, that, that's probably pretty good. Kind of hungry, too. Oh, you know what? There's plenty of sausage around. Plenty. Oh, wow, we left our freaking headlights on all night. Oh, that's bad. I don't know if there's batteries in this game or what. I've never done this before. There we go. Nice little finished sausage right over here. A really sausage, specifically. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's give it a little bit. I'm going to tool around. And I want to see if we get a phone call maybe mentioning what we've done to the... Uh, to our buddy over there. Ugh. You know it's been a tough day with Gray when he pisses not once but twice in the same episode. How how often has that happened? This is the first time I can think of, guys. I don't know. I got the sauna going so we can go ahead and wash ourselves off. I'm going to finish up with the sauna. If we don't get a damn phone call, I don't know, man. Maybe we'll have to wait for it until the next episode. That sucks, though. I was really hoping that we'd get an attaboy or a pat on the back or something tonight. Just something to let us know that we did an excellent job. But maybe we have to go, maybe we have to go to the shop in order to get the recognition that we so deserve. Well, boys, here we are. Totally missing <laughs> the freaking stones. There we go. Ladle in hand. Top bro of the sauna. I feel almost like we're brothers and sisters, you and I. We've spent so many of these days together. And honestly, I want to spend so many more with y'all. Continuously not getting the freaking water. There we go. Continuously not getting the water in the stove. Or the... Is this is, that, is this a heater or a stove? I'm trying to remember. I know way back when I first started, I called those the stones coals. And I had messed up grievously when I had said that. But I've learned from my mistakes. I've learned a lot of things about Finland since I started this game. A lot of really cool things. Learned a lot of interesting facts. Someone had said that Finland has about 5 million people and 3 million saunas in it. Thought that was kind of interesting. You guys have told me that Finland is the number one coffee consumption per capita in the world. So that is something that we both have in common. I will tell you that. Clearly, you guys have fantastic taste in music, as I can hear from the yodeling going on in the background. But uh, I think that that's going to be it for today. So, it's all a matter next time of finding out whether or not we completed our task and receiving our rewards from it. Also, getting a custom damn paint job and possibly rallying again at some point in the future here. I really want to do that. I have to think of other things that we need to complete on this on this game as well because we've done almost everything together now at this point I mean we have found all the junk cars we've gotten just you know every job that you can get done done but there's a few things with the physics and a couple of crash challenges and stuff like that I'd certainly still like to check out so if you guys have any suggestions we can try and blow the engine in every way possible we can try and see how well the car operates without oil or low oil or something I don't know we can put the car through a friggin torture test anything we want at this point. So guys, hope you're enjoying my summer car. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.